may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video, make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. Hope everybody out there has had a pleasant day. It's been rainy here, we needed the rain. We've, I told you earlier today that we've had a bunch of fires break out here. Actually, they broke out before I got back home. I was getting kind of worried. When I come back, I realized how close they was to my home, but today's rains really helped. Thank God for the prayer, everybody's prayer about these fires to put them out. It's not just happening here, it's happening everywhere. There's fires breaking out all over the country. So there's a lot of stuff going on, as usual. As I said, the closer we get to the red heifers being sacrificed, which I do believe will happen on the 29th, because the Bible code relates to that, that something big will happen on the 29th. Probably something we won't see with our own eyes, but I do believe that is it. That's what's going to happen on that day. It says, Dimitri Drive, you EU leaders have decided to uh, militarize, so what now? says the happy, clappy area of the Western government uh, European bloc is over as tough guy Emmanuel Macron emerges to lead it into battle. The EU does not intend to die for the dumbass. This was stated by the Foreign Policy Commissioner, Joseph Borrell, last week. The leaders of the countries of the Western European bloc will discuss increasing defense spending and decide on the fate of the frozen Russian assets, which they've got over a billion of them. Burrell urged his colleagues not to inflame the situation and to frighten ordinary people for nothing. The senior official was referring to the recent comments made by the French President Emmanuel Macron, who has spoken of possibly sending troops in Ukraine. They already did. They sent 2,000. See, they read these things, but they do not tell you the things they do. They've got troops in there. All of these countries do. They're all on the ground. Russia knows this. You don't know this, but they do. See, that's the thing. That When all this stuff happens, nobody's going to see it coming because they think everything's just hunky-dory. Everything's fine. But I'm here screaming it, telling you it's not what they're saying. The war has already started. World War III is already happening. There's no peace coming. A nuclear war is on its way. Luckily for us, the rapture of the church will happen before these, dumb, these dumbbells destroy half the planet. And they're going to. Then the Antichrist will come in and clean up the mess and create his armies and everything else that we know from Revelation. From the Kremlin standpoint, the behavior of the Western leaders so far seems indecisive, but serious changes could be afoot. The next EU summit could be described as historic. The main issue is not even the fate of Russia's frozen assets, but the fact that perhaps for the first time the bloc is discussing to transition into a military economy which is their plan from the get-go. They had to have a reason to do it, and Russia is that reason. As European Council President Charles Michael put it, the time has come to change the parad paradigm of defense and security relations. The essence of this is the Western Europe was totally unprepared for war. Nobody expected it, and nobody even thought it was possible. All they knew, they created it. What were the... Uh, Priorities, climate, they wrote guidelines for farmers and how much carbon monoxide, which I've told you all along, is garbage. What else? Gender, neutrality, see, all Satan, all Satan through all this. Again, such a happy, rosy background, they forgot about the military threat. Now they have to catch up. They have to trade in not only their economic, but also their political yardsticks so they can liberate or electorate really Man, some of these words. Durate reality and seriously believes in a Russian threat. That, too, will require considerable investments. 
I need to start wearing my glasses so I can actually see. There is no details yet, but the extreme poles have been outfitted and outlined. The tone has been set by Macron. The French president has not ruled out sending troops. He are, like I said, he already has. Some of his allies have expected, uh, expressed alarm at this and are denying the possibility. That's a lie, too, because they've already sent troops. However, the reality is nothing can be ruled out, including the scenario, especially in the Ukraine front line falls. It's already falling. To avoid all this, they need to find the means to help Kiev. And what they'll do, well, we've seen the outcome. It's not very good. I see, but more extensively, uh, actively, incredibly, Donald Trump spoke about when he was in office. They did not listen, but he was right. Now, Estonian Prime Minister Kajas has said that the policy of increasing military spending is political suicide for her, but there is no other choice. And what about Russia, which is cited as the main threat? They speak of the terrible punishments, but have failed to define their exact nature. It says, our former partners have not yet made up their minds. Nevertheless, I would like to remind you one simple thing is that a disease is not cured. It will go away by its, if, see, I would like to remind you of one simple thing. If a disease is not cured, it will not go away by itself. Okay. It will get, only get worse. It's the same with military conflicts because you have a habit of growing out of control and you're not stopped in time. We remember how the situation around Ukraine developed. It was the first phase. First, they sent small arms and tanks and missiles and now aircraft. And what we are hearing now, left-wing politician Joseph Burrell says the EU does not intend to die for Donbass. It, it's clear that nobody wants to do that, but really sometimes different. Sometimes different, and they only been two years. However, let us not frighten anyone. For now, these are just words. Actually, they're not. And I'm going to tell you why they're not just words. They say it's not words, so you don't panic. And I tell you all the time, do not fear. But we watch what they're doing over there with Flight Tracker and all these different things. We can tell what they're doing. See, before they could just lie to you and just tell you whatever they want you to hear, and you just believed it. We can now go in and track what the military is doing. What the military is doing versus what they're saying they're doing is a complete another lie. They used a, uh, a, it was a, must be one of the biggest exercises happened a couple of weeks ago. There was no exercise. Never happened. What they was doing was moving tons of equipment to the front lines of the Baltics, which is Finland, Sweden, and, uh, down into Lithuania and places like that. Now, Lithuania has already told their people to prepare for war, and it's imminent. Not next week, not tomorrow, but imminent. See, these nations on the front lines, Poland and all them, they're already telling their citizens that war is here, and it's coming to prepare your food, gas, all this stuff. They're already telling them, America is crickets. They're not telling Americans nothing, and they lie to them when they do. They're not telling them a thing. So most Americans have no clue. Probably half of them don't even know where the Baltics are. That's how bad it has gotten here in America. People just don't care. They really watch sports and just their minds are somewhere else. They just could care less. That's why I said, when this goes down, who's going to get hurt the worst? It's going to be Americans more than anything because Americans won't see it coming at all. They believe the press. They believe the media. They believe anything they're told, they're too lazy to go look it up themselves. They, I, I know, I've seen it. They want you to do everything for them. Everything. And that's just the way we live today. We've become a lazy nation. We really have. And it's, it's quite pitiful. It's nothing like it was founded on and what it was. It's not even close. But when you take God out of a nation like the United States, which on this dollar bill has in God we trust, and we start telling one or two year olds that, you know, you're either if you're a girl, you're a boy. And if you're a boy, you're a girl. And that's our number one priority that we got to tell a little kid. that No, you're not really a boy. You need to be a girl. That's Lucifer. See, that's what he does. He comes in and he installs confusion. And that's what's happening in the United States. When we kick Jesus out of the schools and in the government, the courthouses, well, the devil came in and God, God let it happen. He's like, okay, if you don't want me, there you go. He hands you over to a reprobate mind. That's why the United States has been falling ever since. We make nothing. We do nothing. 
China makes everything. We sent all of our, we're the only country that does not make mess. And we have our mess and is being made by our own enemies. That's how stupid this country has gotten. That literally even the gunpowder that our military uses, we're letting our enemy make that gunpowder for us. Talking about stupidity. This country has become stupid. Everybody's like, well, Trump's going to come out. This stupidity was going on while he was in office. He was letting it go on too. He didn't stop it. None of them's going to stop. That's what I'm, I'm on here trying to tell you. It's not about a political party. You've got to get your mind out of these stupid political parties. This is about Jesus coming back. It's not about stupid Republicans and Democrats. These people are all corrupt. They only see one thing, power and money. I don't care who they are. They can say all kinds of junk. But there is only one king that's going to sit on the throne. And he's the one coming back. He's the only one who can fix this. This cannot be fixed by man. You can pray all you want for Trump to come back. He can't fix it. Only Yeshua can fix this mess. You can get mad at me all you want, but you can keep your political party. I'll take the man upstairs any day of the week because he's the only one. See, we've forgotten. The only one can fix this mess. He's on his way to rapture the church. That's what's about to happen. And let me tell you something. There ain't going to be no more politics. That day is coming to an end. The days of sports, entertainment, all that junk is coming to an end. And it's coming to an end any day now. Because let me tell you something. When the tribulation comes, there ain't going to be no basketball, no baseball, no football, no entertainment, no music, no movies. That stuff is all gone in a blink of an eye. It's all gone. And it ain't coming back. It's not coming back. That might make you mad, but let me tell you something, this precious little world that you don't want to let go of, it's coming to an end. Very clearly and very soon. And I've warned people and warned people, God has shown me many things that what is to come. And I promise you, the days that we're living in today is heaven compared to what's coming. Because the days of being able to flush your toilet are coming to an end too. I'm talking such drastic things that people will never understand and they won't be able to comprehend. A generation that can't even probably read a map because they have to use GPS. This world is in a lot of trouble. It's coming quick. Let me tell you something. That's why the Antichrist can move in so fast and get, gain so much control over so many people because they don't know how to do anything anymore. They depend on the Internet. He's going to give them all this stuff back. All they got to do is take the mark. That's the way they're going to push it. If you want the internet, fine. Take the mark. If you want food, medicine, fine. Take the mark. And people will run to get it done. And they'll be doomed to hell. Because they have chosen the world over God. That's what's happening right now around the world. The world chose. The people have decided to worship the world and not God. Now, on this article from RT, it says, Weapon of mass distraction is the West's scapegoating Islamic State over Moscow attack. Another article about this attack. And this, I do believe, could really trigger a lot of stuff. It is baffling why the powers that be, instead of trying to prevent the conflict in Ukraine from going out of control, seem to actually bent on intensifying it. That's not them. That's Lucifer gearing up because he knows very soon when the red heifers are sacrificed that we're getting close. He knows that. Satan knows the Bible better than anybody. He's been preparing for this for a long time. He sees what we see and we know these are end time signs and we know the rapture is coming. So he knows also the horrific terror attack in Moscow of the Crocus City Hall has been resulted in the 139 dead and also adding fuel to the fire, Russia is bound to react to a grave provocation. Now, this is something Britain threatened Russia not to do anything about this. The U.S. took military action against Afghanistan after September the 11th. Remember that. The 2001 terrorist attack on Seoul. Even though the terrorists were not from Afghan in 2003, President Bush attacked Iraq on the grounds that it was a terrorist had terrorist ties, which was not the case. Russia would have these uh, presidents in mind while considering a response to a terror attack that it has suffered. And that's a good point. 
You know, we attacked two countries that had nothing to do with it after 9-11. Now, this happens to them, a major terrorist attack. But we tell Russia, you know, you ain't allowed to defend yourself. But we can come blow up any country we want. Do you see how this works? They do the same thing with Israel. It's about control. I hate to say it, but these the NATO nations try to control everything that's happening around the world. But let me tell you something. Jesus is about to come put a stop to it. And Jesus will use NATO's enemies to defeat her. Because that's what's coming. Judgment is coming to a lot of nations. America especially. You know, when you choose to kick God out, not good things come. Our economy is so bad right now that we literally are making, we, we are not making any money whatsoever. Everything we got is going basically to inflation. Our government knows that. They know what's happening, that our economy is crashing. That's why they're jumping shit. The Obamas that say, you know, well, the world's going to flood and everything. They moved to an island that was below sea level. See right there tells you how much they lie. Now, if they truly believed that the global, the, the water was going to pass the islands and everything else, why would you go move to an island that's below sea level? But they did. Of course. Because it's a lie. Everything they say is an absolute lie. You can't believe anything that any of them say. So I said, trust the word of God. That is your only truth today is the word of God. There is no other truths in this world. You want to know the truth of what's happening? Read the Word of God. You listen to anything these scientists or anything they say, nothing but lies. All controlled by Lucifer. Lucifer controls this whole planet, and people don't get that. He's got Nephilim running around the whole world, and Lord only knows how many they are here. But it's all happening in our time, right now as we speak. What side are you on? Let me tell you something. you got to choose. Trust the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, past, present, future. He died and was buried and rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. Trust the blood of Jesus. If you're lost out there, call upon Jesus before it's too late. I'm telling you, you're not promised tomorrow. Today could be your last day. So call upon him before it's too late. In retrospect, let's think about everything that we've covered today. We see the paranoia growing between nations. Just with this simple... Uh, this uh, not real simple, but you know, this attack that came out of nowhere here at this music hall. It has created more division, and Satan is using that to create more paranoia between the nations. And he's got to have that. He's got to have World War III. He's got to have all this. The Antichrist will come in and clean all this mess up. That's what all this is for. Everything you're seeing today that's happening is getting him into power. Every bit of it. So he's here. He don't know who he is yet, but he's here and he's getting ready to get power because once the rapture of the church takes place and we believe that's any time, he comes in maybe three to four weeks after, maybe, maybe sooner. I do believe there will be a major power outage. I think the rapture itself could create a major EMP and take half the world's power out. It'll take him maybe a month to get things back up, but he'll be there front and center when that happens. The tribulation saints won't have much time to get themselves on their feet because the Antichrist will move quick to get everybody in camps here in America, what's left of it in some of the cities. A lot of the cities are completely obliterated in World War III. So a lot of the outskirts will be, they'll come in and just sweep people up and put them in FEMA camps probably. That's what a lot of us suspect. But during the alien invasion and everything, it's going to be kind of crazy. And there will be an alien invasion. They've already planned it out. Hollywood's worked with it, everything. They've, they've geared this up for we go up, they come down. Because they're never going to tell people it was Jesus. They're just not going to. Because he's going to try to make people re renounce Jesus. That's his whole thing through the tribulation. Making you renounce Jesus and take the mark and worship him. So he's got his excuse and his plan for when we go up, they come down. People's going to be amazed. It's the Nana, uh, what is it, the Anunnaki? Yeah, it's the Anunnaki. They've come to give us peace and everything, and they're going to use that. We know there's been a great world war, and we know there's been nukes and everything. We can help you not ever have to do that anymore. All you got to do is sell your soul to us and take the mark. See, people think we're crazy. 
because we say this stuff. But I promise you, that's exactly how it's going to go down. And people on this earth will run to these aliens, which are not aliens. They're demons. And they will do whatever they tell them to do. Because the Bible tells us they do. Many will. Many won't. Many tribulation saints will be saved. They will see this, and by mostly what we've seen with the, or us talking about in these videos for so long, so long that they literally are like, okay, they was right. So hopefully we've definitely made a dent in Satan's plans because a lot of us have talk, talked about that. A lot of watchmen and watchwomen have spoken about this alien invasion, and it will come down to that because Hollywood gears you up for what's the cut. So when these spaceships come down, people's going to fall to their knees and worship them. That's exactly what's going to happen. Satan's got this all planned out. And all we can do is warn you what's coming. The rest, the choice is yours. But you need to make that choice quick because this alien invasion is coming. It's coming soon. Along with a lot of natural disasters that's about to hit America. There's a lot of stuff. That April 8th solar eclipse is no fluke. That marks judgment. And I'm telling you, it's going to get crazy. You have that and the red heifers all happening within a two-week per period of each other. Planets aligning, devil comet coming over. Oh, come on, people. You better wake up. We are at the end. I can scream it at you all day long, but the rest is up to you. Try to get as many people on that boat as possible. That's really all we can do now. And just pray and pray and pray and get people on the ark. Because that's our only job from this point on, is to try to wake people up. Thank you all for your support. Those who bought me coffees, those who bought the super stickers here on YouTube. Thank all of you all for just bringing me into your household each and every day. All we're trying to do here is wake people up and get them on that boat before it's too late. We know we're in the last days. We know it. Jacob's trouble, you can already see it brewing. It's in their own government. It's on every corner of Israel. It's all there. All you got to do is open your eyes to see it. I love each and every one of you. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven. Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube, letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep, those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.